How's it going, guys? It's your boy Splash. I am back with another mock draft. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring a ding ding that Le'Veon Bell, that notification bell, so you are told when we go live, when we post stuff like this. This is the fifth installment of my team by team mock drafts. You can check out all of the AFC East ones. This one is probably going to come out around 11 Eastern on Sunday, the 24th, um, 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. Pacific. Um, Eagles one is coming. Uh, I've already uploaded the Giants and Commanders mocks. They will be live by the time you're watching this in all likelihood. So thank you guys for tuning in, and let's get it started with the Dallas Cowboys, number 24 on the clock, and all, per usual, seven rounds, default settings, and we don't really care what other teams are doing. Obviously, it will affect us, but let's get right into it. Uh, no trades. Um, sorry, I know trading is more realistic, but it's hard enough to work through 32 mock drafts, uh, no trades. So let's see who is available with the number 24 pick. 11 teams want to trade. Sorry about that. We're not going to, um, like respectfully, we're not going to. So here we go. Bernard Ryman, Chris Olave, Sky Moore, Zion Johnson, Lewis Seen, Travis Jones, George Pickens. Kair Elam, Malik Willis. All right, let's talk through what Dallas needs. They need offensive line and defensive line. They need the trenches. Um, they have some solid pieces still on the offensive line. Their defensive line is a disaster. Their offensive line, Tyron Smith, old. Zach Martin, getting up there in age. He's entering year, what, nine now? That's unreal. He's been an elite guard for <laughs> almost a decade now. So I will address linebacker. I will address defensive backfield, wide receiver later in the draft, but we have to hit the trenches hard early, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I like Travis Jones here. PFF's a little bit higher on him than I am, um, a little bit higher on him than most, but one guy that I think is a slam dunk potential pro bowler in year one, a slam dunk pick potential pro bowler in year one is Zion Johnson, guard out of Boston College. I think he would be a – he and Zach Martin would instantly become the best guard duo in the NFL. It could be that dramatic. So watch out. And now Dallas back on the clock at number 56. Again, strengthen the defensive front. A couple linebackers available, Leo Chanel, Brian Osmo, great players, Troy Anderson, uh, ridic ridiculously freaky athlete. Uh, let's check out some of the IDLs because the – problem in this draft is that there are like four of them that are good and then after that it's a disaster so looking at logan hall looking at perry on winfrey i'm a big fan of both of them not quite as big on fidaria mathis matthew butler so on and so forth i have you know five guys with a third round grade or higher and then after that it's like a bunch of fifth round grades at idls so i don't love it i would prefer to trade down here if you want if you you have to make this pick a tackle, defensive tackle, which I would like to. Um, a bit of a reach for Hall, a bit of a reach for Winfrey, uh, but I think they are a better player, better players than Mathis and Butler and Co. So I will go ahead, go with the reach, and I will take the athletic freak, Oklahoma interior lineman, Perry on Winfrey. I know it's a bit of a reach. PFS is probably going to ding me, maybe a C minus or a D for that pick, but I think you're getting a good player, and to me, that's what matters. So Mathis go at 77. All right, Dallas is on the clock at number 88. Some of my favorite picks in the draft, Cam Jurgens, Marcus Jones go right before us. All right, let's fill out that linebacker room. Let's get a, you know, a Robin to Micah Parsons, Batman, and Brian Osamoa is a sea ball, hit ball kind of player, really instinctual, um, not quite the size you want. He's more of a rover type than like a bruiser but he is going to fit right into that Dallas defense. Help out in the run game with his ability to run and hit. All right. Get to wait a little while. Pick 129 coming up. Uh, looking offensive line again, looking defensive line. You can never have enough talent there. And I think Kellen Deesh, the, uh, I believe, Texas A&M transfer, yeah, he was just screaming. Like, I know, I know he might not fall here. He's probably not going to be here in real life. But we know one thing about the Cowboys. They will not hesitate to take a good player, no matter the positional value. And this one is awesome positional value. They will let the board fall to them. They will let 
Micah Parsons fall into their lap with the number 12 pick. They will let CeeDee Lamb fall into their lap with the number 17 pick. And I think they're going to, you know, let a potential stud in Kellen Deesh fall into their lap. And uh, Brett Coleman, to me, said it best that if Kellen Deesh was still wearing a Texas A&M helmet, he'd be a second or third round guy. But in this case, he's going middle of round four. So give me Kellen Deesh tackle from Arizona State School of North, at least from where I am in Tucson. All right, number 155, let's let's address the wide receiver room. Let's scroll through. Tyson Anderson, Josh Williams, Matt Woletsko, uh, interesting tackle out of North Dakota, Damone Clark, Joshua Azudu. Uh, Pierre Strong is a seller running back. Um, Tyler Algier, Daniel Bellinger could be interesting. Zach Thomas, Kyron Williams, Ryan Robinson. Let's see Smith. All right, let's check out some of the wide receivers available. Josh Johnson, probably a touch too early for him. Eric uh, Azukanma, uh, Taekwon Thornton, uh, fastest offensive player of the NFL Combine. Bayless Jones, Makai Pohl, Javon Haley, uh, Dontario Drummond. All right, let's kick it back. So we've gone, we went guard with Zion Johnson. We went tackle with Kellen Deesh. Uh, center is an interesting one. Joshua Williams out of UNC Pembroke, a fun athlete. Um, but I think the real fun athlete here is Pierre Strong. I know it's a touch early because Dallas already has your top two running backs. As much as I don't love Zeke in 2022, you have Zeke, you have Tony Pollard. I get it. But you can never – the value here I think is very good on Strong. He's my number two running back. Um, you know, running back, not great value ever, but – I think this is a good pick, and I think he can definitely be the number two if you want to try to get Zeke out the door. If you can possibly get Zeke out the door, I think that would be a golden opportunity. And, again, Dallas is the king of letting good players fall into their lap. Daniel Bellinger, San Diego State, if they used him properly, he would be a top 100 pick, slam dunk top 100 pick. But they had this rotation. They used two or three tight ends, and Bellinger was kind of like, I'm okay. I'm going to compare him to George Kittle because George Kittle did not fulfill his potential at Iowa. He is not the same caliber of player as George Kittle. He is not the same blocker as George Kittle. I'm not saying that. But the idea of underusing him is the same there. All right, 176, end of round five. Um, If you didn't get Pierre Strong earlier, you could get a a running back here. Uh, Curtis Brooks, Jason Poe is a, I believe, uh, led all interior players with 34 bench reps, 35 bench reps. Um, not going to take a quarterback. Sorry, Brock Purdy. Keontae Ingram is a fun name. Eric Johnson, Missouri State. He's a he's a fun athlete. Um, I think that this could be a Josh Johnson pick. I think good value here, Josh Johnson. You know, late round dart throw. Tack on another late fifth round comp. And you know, I at this point, I'm thinking you just are going upside. You want good players. You want. Um, someone that down the line might be able to contribute. So that's what we are looking for. Uh, Matt Arise is a fun one, but the Cowboys do have a reigning Pro Bowl punter in Brian Anger, Leon O'Neill, Alex Lindstrom. Uh, Al, yeah, I, I like in- Lindstrom. Uh, Darian, yeah, Darian Kendrick. I think he's a, a perfect, without being insensitive, a perfect Cowboy player because the Cowboys do take risks on some players with off the field issues, if that makes sense, that they are, they obviously have a process and they obviously will comb through many players with red flags off the field, but talent wins in the NFL. And the Cowboys know that as well as anyone. So Gary and Kendrick end of round five. And with the final pick 193 for Dallas, and we can wrap this up. Uh, Chris Paul, university of, uh, University of Tulsa out of Tulsa probably plays guard in the NFL if he does play, but that will wrap us up there. Dallas, I think it's a great draft. I think there's a lot of value there, and I think Dallas is a team that on draft day, they might not get a superstar here, a superstar there, but they're going to get a lot of A's. They're going to get a lot of B pluses. I think this is going to come in. Maybe A minus, B plus. I, I think the Winfrey pick is going to throw PFF off a little bit. My goal with every mock is to get a B plus. Um, but yeah, Winfrey, a C minus, they don't love that, but they do love Osamoa A plus, Deesh A plus. I love those picks as well with the spot. They don't like the Kendrick pick. Okay. They don't like the Josh Johnson pick either. That's interesting. Chris Paul B plus. Okay. I get an A minus. Okay. You know, I'll take that. 
I think that's a bit harsh. I do. I, I think I had a little bit better of a draft. I would say Winfrey's closer to 56 than 84. Um, but, you know, fair play to PFF. I'll, I'll take the, the A plus or the A minus there. Again, the pick Zion Johnson, Perry on Winfrey, Brian Osamoa, Kellen Deesh, Pierre Strong, Daniel Bellinger, Josh Johnson, Darion Kendrick, and Chris Paul, not that Chris Paul. The guard, or the, he's likely a guard trend convert in the NFL. So, with that said, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring a ding ding that Le'Veon Bell, that notification bell, so you're notified whenever we go live or whenever we upload something like this. Make sure you tune in to other forms of our draft content, whether it's our top five positional rankings, my top ten positional rankings that are coming, I promise, or other mock drafts. They should be floating around the screen somewhere. So with that said, peace out.